Okay, this is section 4.4, question 4. It says, Chris purchased the following items. Two binders at $4.99 each, a math set for $3.99, and a backpack for $19.99. It says, find the total cost, including the GST and PST. So the first thing I have to do is figure out how much he actually paid. So I'm going to add them up. So $4.99 and $4.99 and $3.99 and $19.99. The sum of that is... That's 36, carry your 3, 36, 39, carry your 3. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 20, 23, 33, 96. Oh, that's too bad. So the cost of everything is 33, 96, not including the GST and PST. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this price. We're going to figure out. How much would it cost if I put GST on there? Now, you can do it two ways. You can calculate the GST and then add it on to 396 or 33.96, or you can simply multiply that by zero decimal, one decimal zero five, which is going to be, that's the 33.96. That's the tax of 33.96. So the answer is going to be both of them combined. So I'll take my calculator. One decimal zero five multiplied by thirty three ninety six equals thirty five dollars and six five eight cents which we're going to round to approximately thirty five dollars and sixty six cents so that's the cost of the uh stuff he bought at the store including just the gst the next thing we have to do is figure out the pst which is seven percent so I'm going to multiply it again by 1 decimal 0, 07, multiplied by not 33.96. No, we're going to multiply by the new price of 35.66. So again, this 1 is going to give me the 35.66. This 0 0.07 is going to be giving me the tax. So if I take my calculator, 1 decimal 0, 07 multiplied by 35 decimal 66 equals 38 decimal 1562. That's dollars, which means the answer is $38 approximately and 16 cents because we're going to round that up to the nearest penny. And that's your answer for, the, for question number four. Question six says a score discounted items by 50% off the original price week one. And then the next week it was 10 more percent was taken off the already reduced price. So for a lot of people, they've missed that part. And that's the important part of this. I think I can go this way. Okay. So the regular price was $85. So we're going to figure out week one. We're going to do 50% of $85. Now, no matter which way we do it, if we figure out how much we paid for it or what our discount was, it's still going to be the same. Half of 85 is $42.50. And I could subtract that from 85, but it's still going to be $42.50. So the price of this item after the discounted week one is now 4250 so week two they're like it hasn't sold we got to sell this thing so they reduce another 10 percent of the new price of 4250 and here's where there's two ways to do it the first way to do it is figure out what is 10 percent of 4250 and i just move my decimal over it's 425 that's the discount subtract 425 from this price and I get 38.25 as my final answer. That's method one. That's one way to do it. But the second way to do it is, if the price was 42.50, and I have a 10% uh, discount, that means I'm going to pay for 90% of the 42.50, right? Which is a different thing altogether. I'm going to avoid this step right here. So 90% as a decimal is 0 decimal 90, 90 hundredths, or for those who were intelligent nine tenths of 42.50 grab my calculator 90 percent of the cost of something that is 42 dollars and 50 cents means i will pay 38.25 okay so it's the same answer i got but i was able to do it in one step rather than two Question seven says, a herd of 100 caribou was moved to a new location. The population increased 10% the first year. So that's good that they increased. They must have been feeling much more comfortable with their surroundings. And then the next year, they increased another 20% from the year previous. So 
find the population after the second year. Well, let's go with year one. So year one, it was increased 10% of the 100 is what it increased by. 10% of 100 is easy, it's 10. The other way you could think of it, if it was 10% increase, it was 100, which was all of the herd, plus an additional 10%, which is the increase. So 110% of 100 will be 110, right? So if it increased 10% the first year, it increased 10. If it was population of 100, that means after one year, this caribou herd is now 110. Now year two, it's going to go up 20%. So 20% of the new population of 110. So those 110 caribou are getting friskier in the second year, and they are increasing their population by 20%. Well, mentally, I know the 10%, 10% is 11 so 20% would mean the caribou population is increasing by 22 caribou. So you take 110, which was what they started the year with, plus an additional 22 caribou. There, there, there. That's a caribou. That means after the second year, there are now 132 caribou living in this new uh, area. Now, B says, explain why there wasn't 30% increase in population because we know that 30% of the original 100 is 130, or 130%, so that's 100% of the population plus an additional 30. And these two numbers aren't the same. Well, the reason why they're not the same is because in year one, there was 10 more caribou added to the herd. And when it increased by 20%, you had 10 more caribou to factor into your 20% increase, which means that extra two caribou was the increase in, in the difference. Okay. RJ was thinking of buying a car worth $23,000, but delayed purchasing the car for a year. During that year, the cost of the car increased by 3.2%. What was the price of the car when RJ purchased it? Let's figure it out. So, if it was $23,000 to start, it increased by 3.2%. So again, we could figure out what the increase of 3.2% is, right? 3.2% of that. Now, 3.2% is 3.2 out of 100, which is 32 out of 1,000, which is 0 0.032, 32,000. So that's 3.2% as a decimal of... 23,000. And we figure that out with a calculator. Grab my calculator here. 3.2% of, what was it again? 23,000 equals $736. So you add that on to the original price of 23,000 plus the $736 increase. The new price is $23,736. Now that's if you did it by calculating the actual increase in price and then add it on. But we know that if I took 100% would be the price of the car and 3.2%, which is the cost of the uh, adding it on, we could actually multiply it by 1 and 3.2% times it by 23,000. And if we work that out in a calculator, trust me, I'm not going to pull it up, but that would be your answer.